Hey guys, hope everyone's having a great day. As you can see here, we got the brand new 2023 Panini Prism. This just came out today, it's release day. Um, really excited to get this in. I tried to get a box of the FOTL, because uh, I'm a big fan, I think I got one last year, um, but it I had a work thing that came up uh, and I just didn't have an opportunity to snag it. So I went ahead and got the hobby version. I think this is around 150 bucks right now. And I think I saw the FOTL on blowout was like $400 a box. So that stuff must, I don't know that it either went super, super high on the Dutch auction or it is loaded. So excited to see that. I've only seen one box broken. It was, um, I think Up North Collectors did a break and they hit a James Wood auto actually and some other cool numbered stuff out of here. Um, if you guys haven't seen, Panini doesn't have active players in their products this year. Uh, if you saw Donruss, it's just prospects and like retired veterans and Hall of Famers. So it's pretty interesting. I'm a big fan of Prism because they have color blasts. If you saw some of my breaks last year, I did pull a color blast, which is my favorite case hit insert uh, that they've ever done. I like it more than downtowns. Um, so I really like Prism. It seems like you're going to get mostly prospect autos out of here. So that's exciting. We've got some of the big guys, like I said, James Wood, I think Ellie Sign, um, stuff like that. But I'm assuming there's also going to be some nice Hall of Fame autos in this set. So kind of looking for one of those. We hit a couple nice... Uh, Hall of Fame and good veteran autos in Donruss. So I'm hoping we can keep that going into Prism, but either way, just looking for some nice numbered stuff, uh, nice hits coming out of here. Pretty much get something in every pack. I think we might have our first auto in pack one, actually. They're kind of turned around like that. So we'll start off if we hit uh, a couple early ones, we might save the last one for the end. Uh, but we'll just start. So this is what the design looks like. Always pretty clean with Prism. Uh, let me move this light a little bit. Here we go. Um, some Buster Posey's in it. Uh, Lou Boudreau, there's some of those older kind of players. Uh, Hunter Brown. There's also some of the rookies from 2023 and also Bobby Witt for some reason in some of these sets. So we might see some names we recognize already in the league. Um, so behind this one, there's also some nice insert sets in here. Uh, so looks like it's just one card in here, one non-base card. We got a second to none Babe Ruth insert, and then I'm assuming this is our auto. I wonder if it's upside down. It is for Tampa Bay. It's going to be a Curtis Mead. So I think previously he might have been with Texas. I'm not too sure. I guess maybe he could have just been with Tampa this whole time. I don't know too much about prospects, which is kind of why I'm hoping for some of the Hall of Fame and retired veteran player autographs, but uh, Hopefully you guys can let me know on some of these guys. I don't know if this is one of the insert autos or if this is what they all look like, but it's just going to be a base version. Curtis Mead, just the back. And uh, yeah, it's pack number one. So usually a lot of stuff coming out of here. I'm surprised we only had an autograph in that pack. Usually there's uh, some, some different parallels and refractors and color out of here. Yeah, so you can kind of see right there we got a couple a couple things going on back there. So we'll get to that. There's Jordan Lawler. It's a name I recognize. Uh, Javi Lopez, Tim Wakefield, crew, and then the good stuff. We'll go from the back with an insert of A-Rod, fireworks. And then we'll just go from the back. We have Barry Larkin. That's just a regular prism, I believe. I think this red will be numbered, so we'll go behind that. We've got a Marcelo Mayer, or Meyer. It's going to be, it looks like a Topps Prism. I'm not sure what Panini calls it. Uh, not numbered, but that is a nice looking card. Might put that up on a stand. And then I'm assuming this is our first numbered card. I think I saw St. Louis. Tink Hentz. I think we pulled a couple cards of him and Donners, and I, I commented on how weird his name is. Uh, number to 199. Yeah, looking for some nice low numbered prospects if you can't get any of the retired guys. Um, Meyer Mayer was pretty sweet. I do like that. We'll kind of put him down here for now. I think there's 12 packs. Yeah, 12 packs per box, 12 cards per pack. So not the one, about a medium risk, kind of like. Um, oh, what was the last product I did? Can't even remember what the last thing I ripped was. Uh, oh, Top's Finest. There we go. Uh, Barry Larkin, Kobe Mayo, Moose Scouron, Frankie Frisch, Noelvi Marte, 
Uh, looks like we might have another autograph in this pack. So we'll go in the back pot of gold, Zach Nito. Uh, I got another base card, Gavin Cross. And then a second auto. Looks like another base. Uh, upside down for New York. Can we get are any of the Mets in here? I'm not sure. No, it looks like a Yankee. Can we Brandon Maya? Decent signature. It looks like he used the same marker as Curtis Mead. Very similar uh, thickness. So two base autos, nothing crazy. Uh, nothing on the back except New York. Interesting. I don't know anything about him. Hopefully our last auto will have some color on it or be numbered or something because those are two base autos isn't great. I'm gonna try to save the last auto for the end just because we got our two pretty early on. Some Bobby Miller in there. Evan Carter, that'd be a nice name. I think I saw someone pull his auto as well, so that'd be pretty cool. Uh, on the back, we've got a prismatic Mariano Rivera. It's a nice looking card. Um, behind that, or in front of that, we have a pot of gold prism, Marcella Meyer again. Set him down there with the other one. Um, and two, I just missed a bunch of base cards. Yeah, Piazza and Elijah Green. I think you can get like one of one uh, gold vinyls out of here. That'd be something cool to look for. Probably won't happen, but we'll keep an eye out. Mark McGuire. Yeah, so we got uh, like three cards in here again. This looks a lot like our second pack. We've got Willie Mays, second to none. Uh, we'll just go from here. Got Al Kaline, regular prism. On the back, we've got a Ricky Henderson, one of these nice looking prism cards. And then another numbered, I believe. The catcher, Javi Lopez. Got his base card earlier. Now we've got a red prism, also numbered to 199, just like the Tink Hens. For some reason, I remember Javi Lopez more as a uh, an Oriole. I'm not sure why. Looks like he was on the Braves there. So I think this pack will put us at halfway through the box. We've got two autos already. Not a ton of color or uh, low-numbered stuff, but uh, is that going to be our auto? It might be. Yeah, it looks backwards, so I think we'll go ahead and save that. Don't let me forget about it. That's where we got three autos in the front of the, the box like that. Um, not sure if they're all like that, but that seems very early. Uh, ooh, something crazy back there. Let's get to it. Cal Ripken. Susak. Christian Vaccaro. I guess I saw a couple parallels of him as well. Um, on the back, we've got a... There's Bobby Witt. Mentioned him earlier. Pot of gold insert. Um, I think behind this... I think these are, I'm not sure if this position is always uh, unnumbered parallels, but so far it's been those like prism looking cards. I don't think those are going to be numbered. Um, Chipper Jones, it's nice, like a disco kind of looking card. Not numbered, but pretty cool looking. Stick them down there as well. And then this looks like one of those purples. Not sure what these are numbered to, but it's going to be a prospect card of Robert Hassel. Another big name. That's cool for uh Washington there to 99. Very nice looking cards. Prism always is. Uh, I didn't used to like it and then I opened a few boxes last year and I, I don't know, just learned to love it. We got the, the Color Blast. I got a bunch of the nice low numbered rookies. You know, we got Wanders and Julios to chase out of there. So that was a fun product. Fortunately, we don't have the rookies this year, but still fun with the, the Hall of Famers and the prospects. Keep going, still looking for some nice inserts. I think there's some new rare inserts out of here, other than the Color Blast. I forget what they're called, but uh, looks like we got another red numbered one back here. Oh, they did a little tops flip on us. Interesting. Pen Sheets, Harmon Killebrew. There's a Pete Rose. Go from the back with the insert of Kyle Harrison, Future Stars. On the back, we have a red uh, wave, maybe. Ooh, Harry Walker, super old school. 
it looks like a red wave kind of card. I'm not sure exactly what Panini calls it. Not numbered. So it seems like that slot will always be unnumbered. And then this slot's going to be uh, a numbered or a refractor if you've got it. Um, Aaron Zavala. It's not too bad. All right. And here we got a blue and then one of those uh, cracked ice cards. Those aren't numbered, but they do look very nice. Colson Montgomery, Tom Glavin. There's Robert Hassel base. Uh, we'll go with the insert. Is a Buster Posey Prismatic. I like those a lot. Uh, we'll go with the cracked ice since it's not numbered. Cincinnati is Ellie in here. I'm not too sure actually. <laughs> it's definitely not Ellie. Ernie Lombardi. So really nice looking cards if you can get a nice name. Um, not going to be numbered, but would look nice in a slab in my opinion. And blue. Another old school player, Joe Torrey. So the blues are going to be numbered to 149. Throw him up on the stand. All right, so three packs to go before the auto. Kind of saving it over here, making sure. Don't forget about it. Here. Go we'll get through these. Oscar Colas, it's another guy that's already playing in the league this year. Ichiro. There's James Wood. Here we got Ricky Tiedemann. Future Stars. Got for Brooklyn. That's going to be old school. It's going to be a Jim Gilliam or Gillum. A numbered disco car, so I'm calling that. And then another blue for Cleveland. Another old school, Napa Joy. Same as the Joe Torre, number to 149. Cool card, lots of old school guys on these numbered ones. Um, and uh, unnumbered parallels and stuff like that. And like a few more of the prospects. I think if you can get a, a good name on some of these, you might, you might be able to send them off and make a little bit of money, even on a Panini product, which is unheard of these days. All right, next one, we got another red. Uh, so I think I saw a couple of the FOTLs broken, and I don't know, it seems like that would be the way to go with this product, because it seemed like there was a ton of stuff coming out of the FOTLs, and this does not uh, yield too much. We got an Evan Carter Prismatic, um, we got the red J.R. Ritchie, unnumbered, and then just a regular prism of Archie Vaughn. Um, FOTLs had a ton of low-numbered stuff. You're getting four prisms numbered to like 10 or less and then an auto number to 10 or less. I mean, we don't, we don't have anything close to that coming out of this box. So uh, if you can spring for it, maybe do. Looks like we got a green scope. I don't think those are numbered either and maybe another cracked ice. Uh, so yeah, just not a ton of color coming out of here, at least in this box. There's Jordan Walker. It's a crazy picture of Bob Feller. Cool Papa Bell. Kind of Wilmer Flores, the pitcher. The back, Pete Rose, second to none. Uh, we got one of those cracked ice warming Bernabel. That's a nice looking card. Take that. And this green one for Chicago is going to be Colson Montgomery. Okay, so that's not too bad. Oh, those are numbered. Okay, that's numbered to 75. So cool. We got the Colson Montgomery and the Robert Hassel numbered cards. That's that's not too bad, um, but again, I mean, FOTLs, if you're getting five cards numbered to 10 or less, I know it's $400 a box, but I was, I'm really upset I didn't get in on that when they uh, did the Dutch auction. And that was the last pack of our box, um, except for our last autograph here. Good thing we saved it because that last half was not great. Just get through these. Looks like the autograph packs out of here are just the auto as well, which is a bit of a shame. And we did get another base auto, man. So three base autos uh, for Detroit, upside down. Potential penmanship, Ty Madden. So not a uh, good box by any means, really. I mean, you're paying 150, so you're not going to get a ton with three autos coming out of here. But I was really hoping to hit a uh, vet or Hall of Fame autograph. Unfortunately, we hit three guys I really don't know anything about. We did hit the Colson Montgomery and the Robert Hassel numbered cards, which is nice. But again, I don't do prospects, so I don't know too much about them. As far as the other numbered stuff, not a ton going on. So I would say if you're going to look at this, maybe the rest of the, maybe I just got a really bad box and the rest are going to be a lot more fun. But um, 
I'd say at this point, as far as I know, maybe try to spring for the FOTL if you can. Other than that, we got Topps Chrome coming out next week, next Wednesday. I should have a jumbo box coming in, uh, hopefully up on the channel in less than a week after this one goes up. So stay tuned for that, and uh, thanks for watching. See ya.